Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are playing Curse of Monkey Island. This will be episode 10. So uh, I just was raised from the dead essentially because you can't die in that game's mode. Or at least in, not at LucasArts versions. Hi guys, I guess you'll be wondering how I came to be back from the dead. No questions for the dead guy come back to life? No questions like is there life after death or is there a heaven? Will there be adequate parking? Fine. Be that way. <laughs> I wouldn't tell you about the hereafter if you begged me. Oh. Got nothing to say, huh? I thought if I died, I'd be buried with your aunt. Well, isn't it obvious? You can't be buried in the Good Soup family crypt. Unless you're a member of the Good Soup family. A member of the family, huh? Hmm. Uncle Griswold, it's me! Don't you recognize me? Recognize you? I've never seen you before in my life. What is your name? Wonton. Wonton? I spent several years in the Orient. Hmm. I don't recall having any relatives with that name. Dang it. Look at me. Don't I look just like a good soup? No, you don't look much like a good soup at all. In fact, you look more like one of the broth's childs. They always Ooh. did have weak features. Are you sure? Of broth instead of, of soup. Of course I'm sure. Every day I wander the good soup family hall of portraits and give my respects to each of my distinguished ancestors. Every distinguishing feature of the Good Soup family is there in those pictures. And I see nothing in any of those portraits that might remind me of you. Well, I could make one of them look like me. Hmm. All right, then. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Maybe there'll be some more information in here, or maybe we can figure out how to get that door open. Either of those methods might actually help us to get it. I don't have any use for portraits of the Van Salad family. Nope. I can hammer this wall out, though. Bam. Picture removed. Can I just, like, hammer the wall and put my face in there? I can see the hallway. Huh. Oh, I see where we're going with this. Yes, yes. Good, good. <laughs> now, we'll take this portrait out of there. Put that away. Mm. I'd better get rid of this incriminating picture frame. Oh, hey. Use the Use magic wand for it. Freaking genius. What? We'll be using that this whole time. You would think having the picture frame would be useful it's to put it on the door rooms. or make myself look like I'm supposed to be there. This is one ugly picture. Looks just like the bartender. <laughs> I got a bunch of coffin nails, and I got one regular nail. It's locked. We'll open it up. The future is in my hands. <laughs> Fortune telling won't work with that. Can we slip something in there is what I'm trying to do. I want to slip something in. I can't jimmy the door lock with that. Oh, I know what. I got his business card, don't I? Mutual of Stan. Because you could die horribly at any moment. It's even laminated. <laughs> How did he laminate? That's an even bigger question. Yeah, he had cards made, but he even laminated it? 
I guess I'm better at this pirating thing than I thought. A it worked. A laminated card is good for opening door. There's something on the nightstand here. Quaint. I'm sure there's nothing in there except one of those hotel Bibles. Okay. Open the wardrobe. It's so musty that I don't want to open it up. Pull down the bed. Holy crap. Wow. I'll bet his room charges are pretty hefty by now. Right? They just leave him here like that? The Good Soups. A Life in Pictures by M.M. Goodsoup. There you go. I can't oh. reach it. Alrighty. Crush this skeleton. Well, I got that hand with the glue on it, so I should still be able to reach it. I can't reach it. Okay. Can I hammer it down, maybe? Coffin nails. Yeah, there we go. I'm not sure if that's strong enough to hold it. I might need one more nail. Well, I happen to have one more nail. There. The bed has been nailed down. That ought to do it. Now, we'll just take this book. Learn ourselves about some good soups. It's full of all the dates and fun facts you'd ever want to know about the good soup family. And it says I'll receive a new book every month, or cancel with no obligation, and keep my copy of Buccaneers and Bouillabaisse Bays as a free gift. Yeah, well, there you go. Let's go talk to him about his family. Look at me. Don't I look just like a good soup? No, I still don't think you have those noble good soup features. If you looked at all like a good soup, I might believe your story. Hmm. <laughs> I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. We gotta get him to look at this. No, wait. Let me see. The only thing I can't get it all painted and redone, but I there, can. I cut out the face. Can make it look like I am one of the people. Voila. Oh, there's nothing like family. No matter what may happen in the topsy turvy world of the Caribbean resort business. I can always relax in the knowledge that I come from good, wealthy stock. Breeding. That's what's important. Breeding and culture. Just like Grandfather Lambert. Breeding, culture, and lots and lots of really old money. Mm, it makes a man proud. <laughs> okay. It's funny. I don't remember Grandfather Lambert as looking so... so common. Oh, weird. It's like his eyes follow me. Pictures like that <laughs> really creep me out. Well, there you go. Now you should believe I'm him because I look exactly like Grandfather. Look at me. Don't I look just like a good soup? Now that you mention it, you do bear a slight resemblance to my great grandfather, C. Lambert Good Soup. It's a Clammy? spitting image. My folks back home image. used to tell me all the time. You're the spitting image of old chowder good soup. Spitting Shoot, image. Oh, I think you're right. Uh, I wonder why I didn't see it before. Because I changed the picture. I could just talk about good soup history all day. How about that first fateful journey made to the Caribbean? Oh, you mean the one that... 
Baron Salmon Bisque the Good Soup began in 16. <laughs> not even, not exactly. even discreet about it. He landed on Scab Island with just a spoon and a dream. In just four short years, he had formed the largest chain of all soup restaurants in the Western Hemisphere. By 1635, he had driven the entire Van Salad family out of the Caribbean oh, and had know. a restaurant empire that spanned the globe. Actually, the Van Salads were not driven out until 1637, and the Good Soup chain of restaurants and resorts never did become popular in the South Pacific. Yes, we are. All right. Whatever. <laughs> Well, son, it looks like you were right. Welcome back to the glorious name of Good Soup. I'm, uh, honored. And as a Good Soup, you're welcome to every benefit the name provides. Instant prestige around Blood Island. A 10% discount at any of the Good Soup resorts in the Caribbean. And, mm -hmm. of course, medical, dental, and a 401k. And the best thing of all... If you should happen to drop dead, you will be buried in the extravagant Good Soup family crypt. It's as if all my dreams have come true. <laughs> well, before I do that, let's go check with Stan and see if he's actually finished this um, remodeling of this crypt. Yeah, looks like it. It is now open for business. Maybe Welcome I can make some money on Welcome back to Mutual dying. of Stab. It's from the Caribbean Correspondence Institute. Hmm. You've convinced me. I want to buy some insurance. A wise choice, and one you won't soon regret. The question isn't whether or not you can afford to buy an insurance policy, it's whether you can afford not to. Speaking of which, can you afford to buy an insurance policy? Well, how much does it cost? Oh, that depends on a variety of factors. How much coverage you need, how much you're willing to spend, all sorts of highly complicated sliding scale insurance equations and such. But I won't bore you with all that. Just let me ask you this. How much money do you have? Well, I've got these wooden nickels. I see. Maybe I've confused you somewhere along the line. While nothing would please me more to send you out of here, with the peace of mind that your family will be provided for in the unlikely event of your death, I have to run a business here. If you can't at least show me some collateral, I can't give you a policy. Collateral, huh? How about an enormous uncursed diamond? How about that? Do you have an enormous uncursed diamond? Okay, no. But I'm like this close to getting one. Well, I'm this close to believing that you're trying to take advantage of my generosity. Maybe you'd like to make me a serious offer, hmm? All right. I don't think I have much of anything that he's interested in. I don't know, this authentic, authentic to. pirate relic. A genuine tooth from an actual pirate. Only one of its kind. Is that real gold? The finest known to man. Not much spit on it either anymore. Now you're starting to speak my language. All right, let's find a coverage plan that suits your needs. Oh, well, I guess that worked. And you can rest assured that you've provided for your family well after your unfortunate departure. What are the terms of this plan exactly? It's quite simple, son. When you die, whoever holds that policy gets a lot of money. A lot of money? Wow. Wow is right. Now I want you to be careful out there. Okay, I will. Thanks. No, I'm serious. I want you to be very, very careful. Will do. <laughs> he doesn't want to pay out. Okay. I have an insurance policy. This entitles the bearer of this document to the sum of a lot of money on the event of the demise of Wonton Good Soup. Yes. I was hoping that's what it would be. Now let's go get rich. I gotta do is have another drink. 
Mix a little bit more of this stuff. And this time I'll go into the right crypt and I should get paid. I'd like a drink, please. Right. Mm. There you are. Head be clear. I like them strong. Yeah, without all the hallucination that time. Oh dear. He's had a sudden and completely unexpected relapse of death. Oh yeah. Oh, and just as we were getting reacquainted. As his kinsman, it is my duty to give him a proper burial. It is my solemn vow. The late lamented wanton good soup shall be buried in the good soup family crypt. All right. <laughs> All right. This way? I don't want to leave yet. I'm here to find that ring. Oh, the grave? Oh, that's a good soup sign. Oh, hey. Yikes. It's a memorial plaque for Mini Stroney Good Soup. <laughs> Mini Stroney. Crowbar. <laughs> Ooh, what was that last? Good soup is food. This is going to be. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to do that again. I think I broke my skull. I'm all skull. It's your own fault. Stop scaring me like that. So I did scare you, really? Well, startled is more like it. Yeah. Uh oh. B but startled in a terrified kind of way. You really are very, very scary. Don't talk down to me. I really don't have any choice. I saw you get out of that crypt. Does this mean that you're dead? No, I was only faking. Darn. I <laughs> together, we could walk among the living and spawn a new wave of terror throughout the Caribbean. So what you're saying is that you only love me for my legs. Yeah. Something like that. Come here, you. Hey. Oh, right in my inventory. Anyway, I was gonna look out this crack here. Ooh. Okay. Do I have my book of ventriloquism? Still? Uh, uh, no, I do not. I bought an encyclopedia. That's a shame. That would have come in handy. I could have messed with them with a parrot. Hmm. All right, we'll back away for a moment and see what else I can do here. <clears throat> oh, the ghost bride. Hello there. <laughs> Who are you and what are you doing here? I am Mini Good Soup, last in a long line of eligible Good Soup debutantes. I was buried here exactly one week after my wedding day. A wedding Ooh. day that never came. What happened? I was the belle of Blood Island. How many people can claim that? Oh, how the lads adored me. I was courted by the richest, most handsome men in the Caribbean. But all my suitors bored me to tears. Hmm. I wanted someone dangerous. I wanted a pirate. Oh, here we go. By the way, what do you do for a living? Flooring inspector. Oh. Then one day, a real pirate sailed his ship into the bay. I fell for him instantly, and we became engaged. But he left me standing at the altar, and I died of a broken heart. Wow, that one, one week later. Oh, I know. All right, well then, uh... Were there any other suitors you found attractive? Well, <laughs> there was one I could have fallen for. Young Charles de Goulash. He had such a radiant smile. What happened to him? 
You know, it's funny. I don't know. He checked into the hotel one night and I never saw him again. Oh, I think I know what happened to him. Well, what happened to that young man you liked so much? Why, the last time I saw Charles, he had checked into the hotel. Yep, I know him. Hey, nice ring. <laughs> Was it something I said? I hate this ring. It's been passed down from mother to daughter in the Good Soup family for generations. It was to be my wedding ring until that evil pirate stole the diamond and left me. Left me here to die of a broken heart. Where's the diamond for your ring? It's gone. He took it. Who took it? My love, my honey cakes, my widow schnoobums, my lechuck. Of course. Lechuck is your schnoobums? He pried the diamond from its satin during the rehearsal dinner. Oh, what a fool I was. He told me he was taking it out to get some fresh air. <laughs> he fell for that. Since you're uh, not using it, can I have your engagement band? This ring will remain on my finger until I have a wedding band to replace it. Oh, well, uh, let's see then. How do I get out of this crypt? There's no way out of this crypt for either of us. I must haunt this lonely tomb until I've married a man I truly love. And you can't leave because the door's locked. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go into the light. If only it were that easy. I'm afraid I can never leave this crypt until I marry. Are you attached? <laughs> Engaged, actually. <laughs> what a shame. You sure have pretty eyes. Oh. No yeah, problem with the dead. This is just a shade too creepy for me. I'm leaving. <laughs> All right. Well, it has to do with something with, uh, I'm assuming it has something to do with this. Can I, like, chisel my way out? It would take forever to chisel my way out of here. Well, yeah, but let's talk to the guy. Talk to Mort. Hey, mister! Help! What? Who's there? Who said that? Who's scaring poor old Mort, the grave digger? There's been a horrifying mistake. I've been buried alive in the Good Soup family crypt. All right. This joke has gone far enough. You kids should be ashamed of yourselves. It's no joke. I'm really trapped in here. Yeah. Crazy kids with your long hair and your Baroque music? Fool me once, <laughs> shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Kids in your Baroque music. You must love horror stories to own all these collectibles. Reading fantastic stories about the dead helps me keep my mind off my work. I guess. Why are you wasting your money on all this bad fiction? At least my bad fiction doesn't require over a thousand dollars in hardware. I see your point. That's yeah, true. This isn't a trick. I'm really trapped in this crypt. I drank a special potion that put me into a coma. Thinking I was dead, they buried me in this crypt. Yeah, right. They did that in the book. Never trade lunches with a corpse. If you kids ever came up with an original idea, I might believe you. Ah, oh, jeez. Let me out of this crypt. I'm not falling for your tricks this time. Just leave me alone and let me read my horror novels. All right, all right. I'm going to go sulk in the darkness now. Have a good time. It's a glowing lantern. Might have something I could use with that. Put a face in it. I can't use the portrait face with that. What would I use with it? Ooh, the skull. I can't reach. Can I... Crowbar it? I can't reach. Obviously. I can't use the crowbar with that. 
I can't use the crowbar with that. I must have to use it with that because it stated that I can't reach. Can I use the glue arm with it because I always have this glue arm. Yes, finally that thing is useful. I've got it. Hey, what happened to the light? Mm-hmm. Murray, do your stuff. Yeah. Get okay. creepy. There you go. Mortal fool, release me from this wretched tomb. I must be set free, or I will haunt you forever. I will hide your keys beneath the cushions of your upholstered furniture. And never more will you be able to find socks that match. All right, hang on. I'm coming. <laughs> was Great work, Murray. Pretty good pantomime. I, I was terrifying, wasn't I? Oh, yeah. My demonic powers have made me omnipotent. <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like the lantern ran out of oil. Oh. There. Can I take it, though? It's open. Now shuffle off and give me peace. Can I take it anyway? And it's useless now that it's out of oil. All right. So I got to figure out how to get her a replacement ring. And I don't think I have one sitting in my inventory, so nothing that would work right off the bat. But we'll come back to all of this. Let's see. See what we can see outside of this door. Collect that insurance money. Hey, hey, Guybrush. There sure are a lot of skeletons in here. Uh-oh. Quick, pull the head off one and stick me on top of the spine. I don't think I want you walking around freely, Murray. Oh, yeah. please. Dang it. I'm getting out of here. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, Murray, are you ready to continue our heady adventuring? Murray? Where'd he go? Oh, yeah, he left you. By the way, let's go in and, uh... Collect our insurance. Welcome back to Mutual of Stan. I'm cashing in this insurance policy. Give me a lot of money. But this is a life insurance policy. You collect when the policyholder dies. No, honest. I was dead for a really long time. And you just got better? Well, yeah. yes. Do you have any proof of this miracle? As a matter of fact, smart guy, no. Then it appears that you're just wasting my Crap. time. All right. Run along and play now. I'm trying to run a business here. Well, it ain't going to be as easy as I thought. A death certificate or something? A wreath? Graveyard deal? Is anybody is he in here and I can talk to him maybe? I can't see anyone in there right now. Hey, what an amazing story I have to tell. I was dead, but I live again. Who wants to hear about it? Eh, you guys don't deserve to hear a good story. Twice dead. Nothing here. All right. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Well, either way, we're getting close to the time, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here. Hope you guys are enjoying this, and if you are, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. And if you're interested in helping out the channel, go to patreon.com slash ASRG. And, uh, yeah, otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Hey, fellow Asians. Don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left, and you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.